friends welcome back to my channel this is your lady Phyllis today I have another Obanga topic to discuss with you it says not only cats have nine lives but Nigerians also have nine lives when you see the obituary poster of a Nigerian and it reads 90 years please multiply it by two that is 180 years that is the original age of the dead if the obituary poster reads 50 years multiply it by two that is 100 years that is the original age of the dead not only cats have nine lives but nigerians we also have nine lives one of the biggest factor that causes death in nigeria is bad road and reckless drivers our roads are very bad and the drivers are very devilish and impatient. Just last Sunday, a friend of mine, a subscriber to this channel, died in a ghastly motor and Okada accident at Amuwodo in Lagos. This guy lives here in Brazil. He left Brazil on Friday and two days after he met his death at Amuwodo in an accident with Okada and Moto. May he so and many others who have died in a ghastly motor accident in Nigeria rest in perfect peace. Other factors that are causing death in Nigeria include armed robbers. There are robbers everywhere. They are killing people. The Bini Bypass is now a trap. If you pass that road when you are traveling and get home safely, you better go and do Thanksgiving service. We also have water pollution, air pollution, noise pollution. Everywhere is polluted. And yet, people are surviving in this environment. Adulterated food, drinks, and drug is another killing factor. You will use your money to go and buy food, not knowing that you are buying your death. You will use your money to buy drugs, and the drug will kill the person. So many of you, you adulterate the food, the drinks, and the drugs people are taking in order to enrich yourself. You make money by compromising the standard, the legal standard of food, drug, and drink people take. And you are happy killing people in order to make money. Look at the countless number of cases of people who ate beans and died. Countless number of people who took one drug or the other and they died and you are happy. And you continue to adulterate their drinks, their drugs and their food and they are dying. People will go and preserve food, preserve beans with chemicals, poisonous chemicals. And these chemicals will be killing people and you are happy. Another factor is malaria and typhoid. If you enter that country now very healthy, before two weeks, just two weeks, you will start having funny, funny night fever. The night fever will now graduate into morning, afternoon and evening fever. Then you know, say you don't arrive. Mosquito don't bite you. And you will now start visiting many hospitals, taking malaria treatment. You don't drink any type of water. You drink only bottled water. And yet you have typhoid. What happened to all the malaria tablets you took? They don't function. Most of them don't because they are adulterated. What happened to all the mosquito treated mosquito nets? They don't help. Malaria is killing people in large numbers. The most annoying factor of all these are the cases we had of people who were sick and then went to hospital and yet in the hospital they met their death because the nurses and the doctors were careless careless they don't care there are so many quack 
treating people so badly and killing them at last. Another factor is please pray that there will be no fuel scarcity because each time there is a fuel scarcity in that country, many people die because of it. There are so many cases of people who went to buy kerosene. They didn't know kerosene has been mixed with fuel. And when they get home and pour it into their stove and put light, it explodes, killing everybody in the house. So many burnt houses. Other people will go and buy and store fuel in order to sell them when there is scarcity. But unfortunately for them, the fuel will catch fire and roast them alive. Tankers of fuel used to fall down from time to time, killing many people, burning many properties. Take for instance, the Onicha fire that happened last month. A tanker fell down as a result of bad road or what, I don't know. And it killed many people, burnt several houses, stores, cars. All these are what Nigerians pass through to live a life up to 50, 60, 70, and 80 years. Another factor is the generator. Na big man wahala. When there is no light, you go and bring out your generator, pour fuel in it, and have light. But generator has killed so many people. There are so many cases of people when they are trying to pour fuel into the generator with their phone, it caught fire and killed them. Haven't you heard of so many cases of generator fume killing many people? People will put on their generator and sleep. And then the foam from the generator goes back into the house to kill all of them. Mm -mm. Death. Everywhere. If you jump and pass generator death, there are also risks of kidnappers. Kidnappers are apprehending people and demanding for ransom. And sometimes, even after the ransom has been paid, they used to kill their victims. Don't forget, the ritualists are there too. They have killed so many people, beheading them, taking their parts to prepare their charms. Don't forget the Boko Haram. Don't forget the headsmen. They have killed large numbers of people. The kinsmen are there too. They are full of envy. They have sent so many people to their early graves. You don't do anything to them, or just bad belly, they worry them. They don't want to see you. They keep killing people. God help us. Every day, people are face to face with their death. They will suffer all these factors and yet live up to 50, 60, 70, 80 years. They have nine lives. Multiply their age by two. That is their original age. Now let's take for instance, if these people are given good roads, enforce the law on road safety, give them electricity, give them good health care, don't you know that these people will live longer than Methuselah himself? Yes, they will live much longer. You see, Oyibo people, they live in a well-organized country. They live 70, 60 and die. Nigerians go live times two, times three of that years if they are given the opportunities all these people have. Now, my people, you know, say all this death, they increase every season. So, be very, very careful. In this season we are now, the ember months, be very careful. Don't be in a rush. You are not rushing to anywhere. Don't be in a rush. What you cannot do today, you have tomorrow to do them. Don't be in, don't put yourself in any competition with anyone. 
Where you cannot get today, tomorrow you will get there. Because if you are in a rush, you will wake up on the other side. So please, be careful. Thank you so much for listening. I remain your lady, Phyllis. Watch out for more episodes. Ciao.